Wagner raised its flag in central Bakhmut, but victory looks less likely by the day. The Wagner mercenaries have planted its black flag atop a high-rise in the embattled city of Bakhmut. Winter, snow-covered Bakhmut, Wagner's head Honcho Yevgeny Prigozhin posted on his Telegram channel Friday. It snowed for the first time in a long time. On the occupied positions, the black flag of the musicians develops. The post included video showing the Wagner Group's black flag waving atop a high-rise building in the battered city now covered by snow. Online OSINT observers provided geolocated confirmation that the flag is where Prigozhin claimed. The tactical and strategic significance of Wagner troops being in the city center is unclear. There is no indication that those troops have entered the central city in large numbers or were backed by armor. Russian progress in Bakhmut has been limited at best as of late. By some accounts, they have gained mere blocks of the city and at a very high cost. The seven-month-old battle, the longest in the all-out war, is still raging. And clearly, one of the Ukrainian defenders' greatest advantages has been the difficulty of assaulting a city where buildings offer shelter as well as firing and observation points. Combat in urban environments is notoriously challenging and hazardous. The Wagner Group, which has been doing a large amount of the fighting there for Russia, has taken extreme losses, up to 500 or more troops a day, Ukrainian officials claim. The Institute for the Study of War estimates that Wagner has suffered tens of thousands of casualties trying to take the city. They currently have upwards of 36,000 troops fighting in Bakhmut, Army Gen. Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, testified before the House Armed Services Committee on Wednesday.